Okay, this is on the fry job, number 54161, installed on 67 by Aaron. So what we're doing is we're replacing this pulse furnace um, with a new high efficient furnace. I'm replacing the coil, replacing the AC with the heat pump. Um, so the new furnace, the new return air will sit tight against this two by four wall. Um, and the back of the furnace will be 19 and a half inches off the back wall. I kind of made some marks on the floor there. And behind here as well. Um, furnace will sit on a base. Duck just at the shows. I have a cut line right here. Um, so we'll put a 90 on here. And I have no room for a canvas, so you're going to have to um, do this strategically. Probably get this in and that in. Um, Okay. Yeah, strategically for sure. I'm gonna put in a five inch wide filter box and then duck just as it shows. Um, combustion air, not applicable. We're not touching the water heater vent. So your vent, you're going to reuse the two inch PVC um, that goes up through the roof, but you're going to cut out these uh, tight radius 90s and the mufflers. So cut it out. I gave you two couplings. Um, you're really, really close on length. So as minimal fittings as you can. You know, even if you have to do a 45 and two 90s would be, you know, okay. <clears throat> then it would work fine. But if you do a lot, it may not work and we may have to redo it. Um, on the top of the flue of the roof, it comes out, it's reduced to inch and a half right now. Um, I know the instructions for the furnace say to do that, but Lance said bring it out in two inch. So use the bell up on the roof to extend it up and come out two inches. Okay. As, as per scope. So on your gas, you're going to add a new cock here and then um, two, then you're going to add a flex and out of the furnace, just your norm and uh, then a flex to connect them. AC I'll go over in a minute and drain just to the floor. Lance wants it um, run to the middle and bolted down or um, you can probably strap it to the uh, drain like we normally do but check the scope on that he was kind of specific um, thermostat you're going to put an S40 thermostat on the power he wants a new box um, switch and cover so I gave you a combo switch so you can have an outlet and He's kind of overloaded back here with that one. Um, so we'll have to com schedule a complete circuit out to change the disconnect outside, but um, let's take a walk outside.
um, you will flush the 7 8 um, line set. I'm going to replace as much Rubitex as needed out in here with new. Um, I'm going to replace all the Rubitex outside. And let me just run up there real quick. Sorry, <laughs> turn around. Replace the thermostat with an S40 thermostat. <clears throat> you do have enough thermostat wires going outside. Looks like N8 wires, so just make sure you ground all needed wires. But, um, AC's right here. You're going to put a new pad on and Lance orders these uh, eight inch tall pads for heat pumps. Um, so note that. Um, this disconnect, it's wired hot to the main. Um, he wants a new disconnect on it with a breaker. So right now it's fuse disconnects. We'll put a uh, R just QO disconnect with a 30 amp breaker in it. He wants to run, replace the seal tight, but use the wire inside of it and replace this seal tight as well so this is you know out here just make sure you have some good insulation to put out there but that's about it